Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have three new slider widgets on AppSmith for all of your slider needs. So we have a new range slider widget, which is going to let users pick between values in a range. Uh, we have a new category slider widget, which will let users select a value in the slider. And we have a number slider widget, which will allow users to select a number in the slider range. So this is going to be a video to show you how to use these three slider widgets. And then we'd we'll wrap up by taking a look at a fun use case for using the slider widget. Uh, the app we'll be taking a look at today is going to be available on GitHub. I'm just going to quickly show this to you. So it's in the Foundry repo and it's in the resource folder. You have the video folder and it's called slider widgets i'm also going to leave these links below to make it easy for you to find this later on and uh, let's get started my name is continent and i'm a developer advocate at apps meet without any delay let's get started All right, so right here we are in the lab page of the app. You can go ahead to uh, import this application and you would be here on the same app as I am on. Uh, we'll start by taking a look at the three slider widgets. So to check them out, just go to the search for the slider widget. And here we have a range slider widget. So what this widget is or does is that it's going to let users select within a range. So you have the start range or, and the end range and users can go select a value in this range. So it's going to be very useful if you want users to be able to pick between two values. You have the range slider widget that's built to set that up. So configuring this is very straightforward. You just have to set up the uh, data properties, give it a mean value, give it a max value, give it a step size, a mean range, a default start value and a default end value. And of course, you can set up labels for uh, the range slider widget. So for example, we have labels set up for the 25% uh, mark, the 50% mark and the 70% mark. And you can see that we have that set up here, which is going to be a guide for users when using this widget. Um, like all of the other widgets on AppSmith, you can read the properties from the range slider widget. So I can go grab a text widget here and we can go read property from the range slider widget. So this is going to be range slider and we can do a dot here and we have the ability to see the start value, the end value and the visible property. So if I take a look at start, we can see that this is at 10, which is what it actually is. And we can also see the end value and this is going to be 90 which is the end range right here so that's it for the range slider widget let's go back to take a look at the other slider widgets we have so we also have the category slider widget which is going to enable users pick a value in a range so here is an example of the category slider widget so here i have a range of sizes and users can go select the size so we have the medium size which is default right now we can set this to a small size and we have that set to small but to also help users um, use this widget there's a property that makes it possible to display the max so you have the small you have the extra small, you have the medium, you have large, and you have extra large. And of course, you can go set it up just like the range slider widget. So we have a bunch of options right here. You can either use the GUI to create a new option. So for example, this is going to be ultra large, and we can do something like XSL or we can go in to use JavaScript. So I can go into enable JavaScript and this generates an array that is also configurable with JavaScript. So you can see we have the last option we just created right here. And we'll go take a look at the category slider. This has also been rendered. So that's it for the category slider widget. Let's take a look at the last widget we have here, which is the number slider widget and it's very similar to the category slider but just for numbers so users can go select a particular number and that is going to be the value of the category slider widget so this has been a quick overview of the three widgets or slider widgets we have we've taken a look at the range slider widget we've also taken a look at the category slider widget and we also have the number slider widget next let's take a look at a fun use case for each of these widgets all right, so let's take a look at a fun use case for the slider widgets. I'm just going to go to the playground page and here we have a um, chat that is randomly generated. So we can click on this chat to regenerate it and we have 
various fancy charts that are being generated each time we click on the regenerate chart button now what we can do with the slider widgets here by the way this is not a real app so this is just a fun use case to show you what's possible with the slider widget so here in this chart um we have a bunch of these we have from monday to sunday but we can actually use the range slider widget to zoom in to only view a range of these for example let's say we want to view the date range between monday and uh, let's say friday for example so i can actually just zoom into that range uh, so let's say Friday and this is going to be from Monday to Friday We have actually deleted Saturday and Sunday out of that range and we can actually go in to do a couple of nice things here For example, we can see that the value for Friday is at 20k We can go in to bump up that value by 2x So let's do that and you can see that we have multiplied that value by two and this is now at 40k we can also do that for the middle part of the graph so let's go to bump this up for example this also has been multiplied and we can also do that for the start for example so we can actually go into manipulate this chart and of course i can go back to reset all of these values and we can zoom out so let's start from Monday, we can zoom out and here we have the original chart we started with. So this is a fun little playground to show you what's possible using the slider widgets we have on AppSmith. And like I mentioned earlier, um, the code for this, if we go take a look at the app.js file, uh, this is all the JS code we have uh, that powers the functionality of this app. Everything is available in the Foundry repo, so go check this out. Um, clone the repo, import this application, and you'll be able to play around with this app if you need to. All right, guys, so that's it for the slider widget. It was a really awesome demo, especially the fun part app. But if you'd love to check out more awesome widgets on AppSmith, we made this video right here to show you how to use the JSON form widget. It's a really powerful widget and you should go check it out. And the table widget has also been improved. It now supports inline editing and we made this video to show you how to set it up. All right, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.